and we are live. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, a recording of TCG Online. Uh, it has been a while since I've done one of these for many, many reasons. Um, but yeah, so I'll just be doing pack openings like I used to do. Nothing complicated. There's not going to be any battles or anything. Um, as you can see, I've got Little Fox, which is Bex. We are currently in a Discord call, so we may get other people. Uh, but yeah, she can see the stream because I'm doing this in a Discord call as well at the moment. Uh, so if you hear other people just randomly popping in and saying whatever, that's them. Uh, but for now, I have four packs of the Southern Shield base pack. Three of uh, Sword and Shield Rebel Clash, 12 of Darkness Ablaze, and 22 of the brand new booster packs of Vivid Voltage. Now, how I used to do them back in the day is old to new. I'm going to stick with that formula. Let's see how we go. So we've got uh, Steel Energy, Sizzlipede, Yamper, Clobopus, Cardany, Chudo, The Welt on Bike, Drizzile, ooh, I've not seen that one before, interesting. Shady Dealings, when you play the Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search a deck for a trainer card. Reveal it and put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. Hmm, interesting. Bishop. Rhyhorn and uh, there. Ooh, Glaring Rapidash. When past the veil for the ability, your Pokemon recover from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. And it has the move Psychic, of course it does. Why wouldn't it? So then we have Steel Energy, we have Krogunk, nope, Dr. Krogunk, I don't think you see that. Silicobra, Mincino, oh it's such a look at it. We have Goldie, Gossifleur, we have Rhydon, very heckin' powerful one. Odegas, Ebaloon. We have a holo switch and our rare stone Jenna, which apparently I didn't have before. Wild Taco does 70 damage. This Pokemon also does 10 damage to itself. Nice to see recall moves will still be a thing. Alright, uh, Bex is messaging me saying V all of them, it's relaxing, I've got the moves and such. Okay. So we've got Electric Energy, we've got a Bow Toy with the move Beam and Sand Spray. Uh, we've got a little, we've got a Tank Crew Fabs with 100 HP, okay. It's got the move Stomp, does 20 plus, flip a coin if heads this attack does 21 damage, okay. You got Krabby with the move Super Slice, which does 120. Flip two coins, if either of them is tails, the attack does nothing. And Yamper with Bite, which does 10 damage, and Zap Kick, which is 20. So we'll cover with Sand Attack during your opponent's next turn. If the defender Pokemon tries to attack, the opponent flips a coin. If tails, that attack doesn't have. Ooh. Ordinary Rod, choose one or both. Uh, shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck and shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Pokemon Capture, flip a coin. If heads, switch one of your opponent's biggest Pokemon with their active. Haunter, Nightmare. Ooh. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Sobble, hollow sobble, I should say. With pound on water one. And my there. 
Lapras. Wait, I've had Lapras before. Why is it saying new? Did I get by on him? Uh, it's got Aqua Wash. Does 70 damage. You may put two energy cards attached to your opponent's active Pokemon into their hands. Oh, there's two to flip over. That should be a good sign. So we've got Steel Energy. We've got a shoulder with the move Water Splash. We've got Krogunk again, the dark typing with Stampede and Lunjo. Silicoba with Headbutt and Tail back. Mijino again looking so adorable. With glance and Tail Slap. We've got Godin with Horn Attack. Calvantula with Volt Wave. Galarian Linoon with Night Slash and Hammer In. Energy Switch. Move the basic energy from one of your Pokemon to another of your Pokemon. Our Hollow. Bolton. Oh good god, I don't think I've seen this one before. With Bite, that does 50. And Electro Dash, which does 160. Ooh, that's a heckin' strong one. Oh, I might need to try and get in on that or something. And my rare is a Snorlax with Rolling Tackle and Heavy Impact. Not gonna lie, with two to flip over, I was expecting something a little bit better. I'm not going through my entire collection of cards, babe. God, no. Maybe off screen just for you, but not, not for the video. Mm -mm. No. So we've got Darkness Energy, we got a Natu with me first, we got a Trubbish with Venoshark if your opponent's active Pokemon is poisoned, this attack does 50 more damage. Pitto, with Chirp, switch attack for up to 2 Pokemon with fighting resistance, reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And also the move Razor Wing with 20, we got a Grubbin with Gnaw. We got a meditate with yoga shark. What? Why? Why is that a thing? Um, okay. We got metajam with yoga kick. Again, not sure what else a thing. Um, and also psychic. This attack does twenty more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Oof. Morgan with Bite, which does 30, and False Surrender, which does 60. Mm -hmm. Palpatode with Twirling Sign. The opponent's active Pokemon is now confused, and it does 30 damage. Masquerade, Threatening Pattern. During your opponent's next turn, energy can't be attached from your opponent's hand to the defended Pokemon. Not gonna lie, that's um, that's kind of overpowered a bit, especially like right at the beginning of a match. And you turn those further damage, which is this Pokemon with one of your benched. And my rare is a bomber snow with soothing scent, which does 80 and puts the Pokemon to sleep. And Megaton Lariat with 140 damage. Got electric energy, we got Natu with me first again. We got Hornage with Slicing Blade that does 30. Got Impidimp with Beat which does 10 and Stampede which does 20. Magma Punch with 10, Heat Breath with 20. Oh, and if you get hit by flipping a coin, the attack does 30 more damage. Electabuzz, one that I know very well because it's in my electric deck. Knock a Punch and Electro Slug. Heliolisk, again another one I know also well considering it's in my electric deck. With Eevee Impulse and Thunder. Burning Scarf, if the fire type Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and is damaged by an opponent's attack, even if it is not up, the attacking Pokemon is not burned. Uh, we got an Indeedee with Replenish Time. 
and save the image. Which is dirty. Our hollow. Apple ton. What delicious aroma for the ability. Once during your turn, you may flip a coin. If heads switch one of your opponents benched basic Pokemon with their active Pokemon. And the move solo beam to 70. And our there is Aegis Slash. Big shield. All of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. You can't apply more than one big shield ability at a time. And it has the move Power Rage, which does 130. That is ridiculous. Yeah, cars can only have two moves. Um, electric energy. Galarian Farfetch'd, Rock Smash, and PS. Horn Edge with Slicing Blade again. Oops. Galarian Meowth with Evolution Raw as its ability. You must discard two cards from your hand in order to use this ability. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Galarian Berserker. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. It has Scratch, which does 20. I'm gonna lie, that artwork of Galarian Meowth looks weird. Aracuda with Vein Splash. A tenor with Find a Find. Search your deck for a Pokemon. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And Side Shot, which does 20. Charger Book with Charge and Lightning Ball. Capture Energy. Okay, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides no attack energy. When you attach this card from your hand to a Pokemon, search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Very interesting. Uh, Do Blade, Slash, and Double Slash. Um, okay. Uh, my hollow is Toxel with tight jaw, which can uh, paralyze the active Pokemon if I get a heads when I flip the coin. My there is a scissor. Vade. If this Pokemon evolved from Scyther during this turn, this attack does 90 more damage. In Guard Claw, during your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attack. So far, I've not been getting any V cards. Hmm. Let's see if I get any darkness ablaze, yeah? So we've got fighting energy, we've got a hippopotas, a tackle, and double stomp. For two coins, this attack does 30 more damage for each heads. We've got a golet, which has rollouts, which does 30, and Halloween, which does 50. We got a skitty draw of power, search attack for an energy card, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. Cat kick, which does 20. And then Dano, which has Ram, which does 10 damage. Jigglypuff, Mumble, and Moon kick. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Choose up to two of your Pokemon in play. For each of those Pokemon, search a deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it. Then, shuffle your deck. You can't use this card during your first turn or in a Pokemon that was put into play this turn. So that's basically a nice way to get two evolutions in one turn as long as it's not your first turn and you've not just put that Pokemon on the bench. Got a reader, whiny voice. Choose a random card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals the card, reveals that card, and shovels it into their deck. Double spin. Uh, flip two coins. This attack does thirty damage for each hit. Okay. That's a bit ridiculous, but anyway. Sand pulse. This attack also does ten damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, and does twenty to the one that's in the active spot. Phoebus. Nap. Heal 20 damage from this Pokemon. It only has 30 HP. Oof. Ooh, Hippowdon. With triple smash, which does 80 for each heads I get out of 3 
coin flips. And then the move land crush, which does 150. Good lord in heaven above. Lot of energy. Marlow, Spar, and Flark. Yeah, baby. Hippo, Hippodon is a strong hippo. Hecking strong hippo. La Vesta, which has Singe. Centret, which has Call for Family. Search a deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Bench it for your deck. Hippopotas, again. Purloin with the claws and fake out. We've got Layla, which has Knockaway and Lunja. Glimwood Tango, once during each player's turn. After that player flips any coin for an attack, they may ignore all results of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. Ooh. Interesting. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing again. Tops of Pex. So you recover, discard an energy from this Pokemon and heal all damage from it. That's ridiculous. And then Poisonous Whip. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. And our rare. Got the tongue. Mind Blend. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And then Bend. Choose two random cards from your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals those cards and shuffles them into their deck. Okay, very, very odd. And they don't even require much energy, which is even more concerning. What of energy? Wishy washy, with deep sea swell and waste wash. Cool found with strength. Uh, Dano, which has Rum, which does 10. Pansy with Live Call and Bite. Mareep with Static Shark. Simipol with Water Gun and Giga Impact. Jesus Christ. Okay. Chill. Chill with that. Simi Sage with Sea Bomb and Giga Impacts. Seriously, chill with the Giga Impacts. Oh. Play this card as if it was a 70 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, you may discard this card from play. This card can't be affected by any special conditions and it can retreat. So this is a rare fossil. This is how you would get like Dracovish, Dracozolt, Arctovish and Arctozolt if I ever get them. Talon Flame, Scorching Feathers, if this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if the Pokemon is knocked out, the attacking Pokemon is now burned. And then Mach Flight. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat, and it does 120 damage. Good lord. Ooh, we got ourselves a V card. Hello. Scizor V. Hack off. Discard a Pokemon tool and a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That does 30. And Slashing Claw 140. Ooh. It's about time we got something. I was a bit concerned. Electric Energy, Rowlet with Sky Circus. If you play Bird Keeper from your hand during this turn, ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. And then Wind Shard, this attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. I bet a lot of people just use Rowlet with Bird Keeper immediately. Another Bushibashi, another Kufan, Sinistee, Furtive Drop. Put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon. Feebas. Put one damage from this Pokemon. Solrock. Resistance Shape. 
if you have Lunatone in play, your opponent's Pokemon in play have no resistance. Ooh. Interesting. That has to be good for. Bad Keeper, switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon if you do draw three cards. Titani, Marpari, this attack does 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has the Marpari attack. Ooh. Teresa with Baby Doll Eyes and Dick Claws. And our Veil is Activish. There we go. Hard face. Journey opponent's next turn. This Pokemon takes 60 less damage from attacks. Good lord. Cold breath. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Jesus, one day? And asleep? Activist, that's that's cold. That is brutal. And no, that was not meant as a pun before you even dare say that. That was by accident. Fighting energy, vanillite, ice over. Flip a coin if has your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Yeah, I bet you're a bloody mid sentence today as well. Sorry, um, Bex is communicating through messenger with me, so... Yeah. Golet! Roll out with 30, I'm away in 50, again. Pounce Edge, Seed Bomb and Bite. Skiddy, draw power and cap kick. Clink, call for backup. Search your deck for a steel energy, for a steel Pokemon, reveal it. And put it into your hand, then shove your deck. Oh, good lord. Uh, it would be ridiculously overpowered in the steel deck. Pupita, a sun display. And Rocket Evolution. Search a deck for a card that evolves from this Pokemon and put it onto this Pokemon to evolve it, then shuffle your deck. Wow, that's one way to get um, Tyranitar real quick. Zoilus, Corkscrew Punch, and Darkness. Don't know how it's punching, but okay. Legendary, Seeming Flame, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. A Solwok, again, hollow this time. And my Rare is another Prophet. Oof. We have Psychic Energy. We have Galarian Mr. Mine with Reflect and Icy Snow. We have Electrite with Thunderbolt, Dumb Sparse, Final Dig if this Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's side Pokemon, discard the top two cards of your opponent's attack. Interesting. It also has Ram, which does 20. We have Mavini, you know, 30 damage from this Pokemon and Poison Tentacles. Your opponent's Pokemon has been poisoned. We have another Pearl Hine, another Fletching there. We have Hiding Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides Dark Energy. The Dark Pokemon this card is attached to has no retreat cost. So this is Special Energy and it's really good. But it will only work on the type of Pokemon that has the symbol, so in this case, Dark type. Uh, Parasect, Mushroom Tackle, Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. And that does 30. Then we got Solar Beam, which does 110. Hold on, I'm trying to get comfy again. Did you just say Mushroom Tackle, babe? Oh my god, I said Mushroom Tackle. <sighs> Just can't get the help now, guys. No, I'm joking. Um, Hollows Velos. The same moves as last time. Ooh, Agron. Steady. If this Pokemon has full HP and would be knocked out by damage from an attack, it is not knocked out and, is rem and its remaining HP becomes 10. And it has to move Gigaton Stomp with 160. Good God in heaven above. As heckin' strong. 
Pass energy. Don't pass again. Delivering tower marker. Tackle and headbutt. Grimer. Stomp off. And sludge whirlpool. That's actually kind of terrifying. Lava tower with sand spray and PS. Shalmer with spray fluid. We got a big power soul. As long as the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, prevent all attacks, prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to all your Pokemon. Exist effects are not removed and damage is not an effect. We have a Shenotic flickering light which does 30. And fear the forest. If Glimmer Tangle is in play, this attack does 60 more damage. Then we've got those. Attach up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon VMAX cards. If you attach any energy cards in this way, discard your hand. And then we've got Hollow Hiding Energy and Avair. Grim Snarl V. Oh, now that is a lovely one. Bite with 40 damage and Spiky Knuckle, which does 200. Put two energy. Put two dark energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Yeah, you can get more than one, babe. Like, again, I've just got it again. So, you know. So, we've got Psychic Energy, we've got Gothita, Fortune Eye, and Gentle Slap. We've got Vanilla Ice again, Bunnaby, Mad Party. Um, don't really need to go through that again. Hesimian, call for family, and Rock Hurl. Rock Hurl. Uh, Dano, which has Ram, Hiding Energy again, Parasect again, Talks Apex again, Paras, Hollow, and my Vare. Oh, Galarian Slowbro. Okay, so babe, the reason why I said new is because. There was a slight difference due to it being a hollow card. So it's hollow is a little bit rarer, so it's therefore classed as a new card. Let's see, Galarian Slowbro V. Now this is new for me. I've not seen this one before. <laughs> I'm I'm not even gonna read that comment. Uh, so let's see, once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, you may make your opponent's active Pokemon poisoned. That's actually pretty ridiculous. And Tripping Shot, 130, during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Oof. Oof. That is, um, that is terrifying. And it does 130. That is absolutely terrifying. I'm still not saying that, babe. That is just wrong, and you know it. <clears throat> anyway, let's carry on, folks. Grass Energy. Pissimian, again. Dano, again. Electric, again. Pensy, again. Marlul, again. Zuelos, again. Staravia. Ambush. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 20 more damage. And Wing Attack. Combuscan, Smash Kick which does 20, Heat Beak which does 40 and burns the Pokemon. Meltdown, Headbutt and Beam. Corviknight. Flying Taxi, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put one of your Pokemon except any Corviknight and all Attached cards into your hand. So that's a nice way to get out um, a Pokemon that's really badly injured. And Blasting Wind, which does 120. Good lord, in heaven above. So we've got Water Energy, we've got Fletchling with Tackle, we've got Grimpod with Gnaw and Run, we've got Grimer again, we've got Clink again, we've got Ducklet with Flap. We got Lunatone with Future Sight and Psychic. 
We've got Stavavia again, we've got Pubitar again, we've got Tauros with Horn Attack, and a rare Copperaga. Antibacterial skin. This Pokemon can't be affected by any special conditions. In Vengeful Stone. If your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 120 more damage. Good lord in heaven above. Oh boy. So we've got Electric Energy, we've got Sinistee again, we've got Toxel with Slap and Static Shock this time. We've got Bunnelby again, we've got Wimpod again, we've got a Cup Chew with Chop and Icicle. We've got Heat Energy, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon it provides Fire Energy. The Fire Pokemon this card is attached to gets 20 HP. Extra, that is. Earthwing with Hammer Arm, discard the top card of your opponent's deck and that does 70. Claw Slash does 120. Old PC, literally, I think that's like. I think that's kind of showing like Gen 1 graphics there as well. In the actual little picture, let me see. Yeah, it's showing Gen 1. Oh, there's the ride on Sprite. Gen 1. Um. Flip two cards, if Bother has put a card from your discard pile into your hand. And then Lava Tower with Sand Spray and Pierce. And my Vev is Golurk. Dynamic Chop with 80 damage. Golurk Hammer with 180. Good lord. As for the flipping coin, the coin basically comes into effect for certain staff conditions like sleep, uh, burn. But there are also some moves that kind of rely on it as well. Kind of ridiculous. But, you know, that's just how it goes. So this is the last of the Darkness Ablaze packs. So we've got Steel Energy, Vowlet, Wishy Washy, Kufan, Sinister Infibus again. Leyron as well. Glimwood Tangle, Pogmas, Venus, Nurse, Chewing. Trapinch with Land Pulse. If a Stadium is in play, this attack does 10 more damage. I don't know why a coin verb, I just chose a coin. And lastly, my rare is Excel Gore with Jet Headbutt. That's all for Darkness Ablaze. Now, let's get to the main show Vivid Voltage. Here we go. 22 of these things. Let's get to it. So we've got Fighting Energy, and you have a cute little rock rock, yes we do, we tackle and via kick. We have a Voltorb with Electro Ball, Puchina with Bite and via kick. We have a Shuppet with Haunt, we have a Fainty with Stampede and Strike Back. We have a Zap Striker with Low Kick and Zap Kick, what a kicking move so far. Windham Stadium, whenever either player plays a Pokemon V Max from their hand to evolve a Pokemon V during their turn, heal 100 damage from that Pokemon. Loudred with Round and Hyper Voice. My Hollow is Lucario. Spike Draw does 40 damage and lets you draw a card. Then Knuckle Impact. During your next turn, this Pokemon can't attack, but it does 160. Oof. Heckin' strong. My there. Pikachu V. My first V card for this pack. Oh boy. So we got Charge. Search your deck for up to two electric energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Then shuffle your deck. And. Thunderbolt. Discard all energy from this Pokemon and it does 200 damage. Oh, let's see if we get the, uh, let's see if we get something else. I'm gonna go with that. So we've got Psychic Energy, we've got Pugino again, we've got Pikipek with the move Peck for 10 damage. We've got an Encada which does Absorb. We've got an Avacuda with Flock and Peck. 
we've got a Codony with Rolling Tackle. We've got a Dustcloth with Confuse Ray and Psy Punch, which does 60. We've got Feathertorn with Swift Swing. This attack does 30 damage for each Steel Energy attached to this Pokemon. Switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So, say if you're one of those that just likes to pile on the cards, this all that's going to be a strong one for you. Go Goat. Razor Leaf with 50, Takedown with 160. Aromatic Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides Grass Energy. The Grass Pokemon this card is attached to recovers from all special conditions and can't be affected by any special conditions. And lastly, the Rare. Drapion V. Ooh. Now look at that. Rackdown, 70 damage. Hazardous Claws, 130. Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed and poisoned. Ooh. That's dangerous. Damn. Comes at a bit of a cost, but damn. It's dangerous if you play it right. Fighting energy. Executes with Seed Bomb. Tynamo with the ability Levitate. This Pokemon has any attached energy. If this Pokemon has any energy attached, it has no retreat cost and it does Tiny Charge with 10. Vioma with Hydro Pump. This attack does 20 more damage for each water energy attached to this Pokemon. Clefairy with Pound and Mini Metrono. God does kind of terrifying. Um, metronome PTSD coming. Drillba, Scratch, and Focus Fist. Okay. Nuzleaf with Razor Leaf. Shuckle with Deck Distiller. Flip coin until you get Tails. For each head, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. Oh, good lord. That is one way to make them run out of cards quickly. Rock Throw, which does 50. Beauty, if you go first, you may play this card during your first turn. Draw two cards. Blitzel with Zapkick. And my rare is Zygarde. Oh my god, that's the complete version as well. Beam and Core Avenger. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. Oof. That's a good late game sweeper. If you can get that coin. Grass Energy, Shuppet with Haunt, Vampy with Stampede and Strike Back, Cedar with Ram, and Kuda with Flock and Pack, Rubat, Unamplified Sound Wave. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. If you have any cards in your hand, this attack does nothing. That's kinda pointless then. Nessa, put up to 4 in any combination of water type Pokemon and water energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. One I use a lot in, well, one I will be using a lot in any water decks I decide to make in the future. Heat Blast with 60 damage and Bright Flame with 180. And that's my cargo. Next up is Excadrill. It's got Drill Run, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon, and Slashing Claw. Metang with Metal Claw and Magnetic Blast. And uh, my rare is an Alcremi, sharing sweets for the ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may you may have each player draw a card. And it has Wondershine for its attack, which does 60. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Oh, we've got two to flip over. That might be a good sign again. So we've got Steel Energy. We've got Ninkato again. We've got Wooper with Mud Shot and Beat. We've got Milky with Sweet Sand and Tackle. We've got Beldum with Call for Family and Ram. We've got Slugma with Yawn and Flare. We've got Excadrill again. We've got Swoobat with Unaware. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. 
and it's got the move Heartstun. We've got Drone Rotom. Your opponent reveals their hand. If they do, look at the top card of your opponent's deck. Hmm. For our Hollow, we have Tornadus. Jet Draft. Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. And Air Slash. Discard an energy from this Pokemon. And uh, there. Jolteon. Thunderous Awakening. This Pokemon has a memory capsule attached. What are Pokemon in play? Have no abilities. Interesting. Interesting. So we got Fire Energy. My Tornadoes gives me Vampire like Scooby Doo vibes. Yeah. Yeah, you're not the only one. Execute. Again. Tynamo again. Whalmo again. Clefairy again. Drillbo again. Clock a lock with Bite and Dredge up. We got League Staff. Draw two cards. Windham Stadium is in play. Draw two more cards. A cargo again. Zeb Striker again. And a uh, rare. Samurai. Shell Armor. This Pokemon takes that or less damage from your attack. From attacks. Aqua Wash. 120. You may put two energy. Attach the opponent's active Pokemon back into their hand. Very useful. I've been using that with the Dreadnought themed deck that came alongside these booster packs. Psychic Energy, Blitzel, Chain Mecho with Auspicious Tone and Hypno Blast. Galarian Meowth with Scratch and Fury Swipes. Milky again, Tynamo again. Stone Energy, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides fighting energy. The fighter Pokemon this card is attached to takes 20 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. We've got Carolus, we've got Gogard again, we've got Mumuji. It's your deadly damage from up to two of your Pokemon that have energy attached. And uh, there is Garboda. Trash Cyclone. This attack does 30 damage for each Pokemon to card in your discard pile. Then shuffle those cards into your deck. Oh wow. And then Poison Spray. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Uh, yes. Although I seem to be getting lucky with getting the special energy. So we've got Steel Energy. Wubat again. Clobopus again. Dynamo again. Trubbish. Lucky Find. And Slush Stars. We've got Wisma with Continuous Tumble. We've got Galarian Stunfisk. Counter attack. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. And then I've got to move Grip and Squeeze. During your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. Ooh, and that does 90 damage. Heroes Metal. The Pokemon VMAX this card is attached to gets minus 100 HP, and if it is knocked out by damage from an attack, from your opponent's Pokemon, that player take takes one fewer prize card. You can't attach this card to a Pokemon VMAX that has 100 HP or less remaining. I'm also surprised if there would be anything like that. Coating Energy. Special Steel Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides Steel Energy. The Steel Pokemon this card is attached to has no weakness. Ooh. We've got Kakuna with Shed Skin, Ember Bite, and our rare is Grapplot. A full Nelson. <laughs> they had to, didn't they? Of course they did. Why, why wouldn't they make it? Why wouldn't they have a full Nelson for Grapplot to the move? Journey upon us next turn to defend a Pokemon card retreat. And then Tentacle Buster. If this Pokemon used Full Nelson during your last turn, this attack does 120 more damage. Why? Why would you do that? Good lord. Fire Energy. Chat up. Minor Errand Running. Search a deck for up to two basic energy cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand and shovel your deck. Peck, which does 20 damage. Charmander collects and flare. 
Kujiana, Bite and Rear Kick, Mud Grey, Ram and Rear Kick, Pine Cove, Ram and Iron Defense, Cargo again, Excadrill again, Swoobot again, Blitzel again, and Rare, Shifty, Shifty sub Substitution. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, each supporter card in your opponent's hand has the effect draw three cards. Mm. Interesting. Fan Tornado. You may have your opponent switch their active Pokemon with one of their benched. Interesting. Okay, so we've got Water Energy, Charmander again, Tailor with Double Peck, Rubad again, Clobopus again, Tynamo again, Telescopic Sight. The attack of the Pokemon this card is attached to does 30 more damage to your opponent's benched Pokemon V and benched Pokemon GX cards. Pink Urchin, Spinning Venom Peck, Charmeleon, Slash, and Raging Flames. Search us to bath. All basic Pokemon take 20 less damage from attacks from the opponent's Pokemon. And then uh, there is another grab locked. Cool. I'm not getting many V cards here. I was expecting a few more V cards every now and then. Fighting Energy, Execute again, Tynamo again, Whale Morgan, Teferi again, Drillbur again, Trumbeak, Charging Trumpet. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energies cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back into your deck. And also drill pack with for 50 damage. Mighty Anna, Ferocious Bellow, during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon's attack do 50 less damage. And Pitch Black Fangs. Telescope Excite. Telescopic Sight, and uh, my there is a Vaporeon, Torrential Awakening. If this Pokemon has a memory capsule attached, Fire Pokemon in play have no abilities, and it has the move Aurora Beam. I'm not getting lucky here. I remember back in the day I used to be lucky as hell, I used to get all sorts. Now I'm not getting so lucky. Electric Kennedy. Cottony again, Boyoma again, Dilber again, Wisma again, Ninkara again, Avomatic Energy again, Galarian Stunfisk again, Dalmise, Hook, and Special Anchor. If this Pokemon has any special energy attack, this attack does 60 more damage. Okay. So, Avomatic Energy is useful for that at the very least. We got Zapdos, Drill Pack, 20, Thunder Snipe. Discard all energy from this Pokemon, and this attack does 160 damage to one of your opponents, Pokemon V or Pokemon GX. That also works for those that are on the bench. Interesting. And our rare, Yanmega. U turn with 50 damage and cutting wind for 130. I mean, a rare's a rare. You are guaranteed to get a rare, but. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for something good here. Come on. Last Energy, Drill Bar, the Dene with Tail Trickery, Crevice with Reaction, Skitter with Synthesis and Razor Leaf, Blitzel, Feathertown again, Duart with Water Gun and Aqua Wash, Moomoochies again, Alistair, draw three cards if you draw. If you drew any cards in this way, discard up to three cards from your hand. And our rare is Beedrill, Elusive Master. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is the last card in your hand, you may put it, you may play it onto your bench. If you do, draw three cards. And it has to move Sharp Sting with one turn. And Fire Energy, Shuppet, Vampy, Cedar, Alcuda, Rubat. Uh, Hitman Top, Cycle Draw, discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards. Tornado Kick, if you play B from your hand during this turn, this attack does 80 more damage. Heroes Metal, Aromatic Energy, Tynamo, 
and the va, quagra, beat, and fickle impact. Oh, that was really, really weird. Fire energy, Calavia Meowth, Yanma with U turn and Quidden Wind, Fan P again, Clefairy again, Electric with Collect and Bite, I'll see another one before, Feverthorn, Jua, Moo Cheese, Panko again, and the rare, Lichen Rock Midnight Form with Rock Throw and Sharp Mane. Sharp Mane is right, especially if it's doing 70 damage. Grass energy, Picky Pack, Dedenne, Wupa, Yanma, Taylor, Galarian, Stunfisk, Heroes, Metal, Cotton Energy, Feathertaw, and the Rare, Ampharos V. Ooh, that is gorgeous looking, how long? Dazzle Blast, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Damaging Spark, 120 damage. And the attack also does 30 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. Ooh, okay. Right, babe. That is an adorable V card, especially for him, They do, they do really good artwork for some of the like special cards, like the V cards and the GX and such. Water Energy, Slugma, Blitzel, Chimeco, Galarian Mio, the Milky, Throne World Arm, Mercago, Hip on Top, Beauty, and the Rare, Two Cannon. I was wondering when we'd get this. Energy Cutoff, discard an energy from your opponent's like a Pokemon, Loop Cannon, put two energy attached to this Pokemon into your hand. Oh god, that would be ridiculous. Alright, after this we're getting into the ones that are won through the events. So that's just four of them left after this. So Water Energy, Trubbish, Eevee, Skiddo, Milky, Blitzel, Nuzleaf, Shuckle, Beauty, Milky again, and my Vare, a Rainbow Vare, Alistair. Holy <laughs> shit. A Rainbow Rare Alistair. Alright. Did not think I'd be getting something that rare, but Jesus. That is, um, that is some powerful stuff. Glad to have gotten the Rainbow Rare. Alright, so we've got Electric Energy. Execute again, Wisma again, Slugma again, Mudbray again, Cardony again. Wash energy. As long as this poke as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon it provides water energy. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to the water Pokemon this card is attached to. Swallow with quick attack and energy assist. Galvantula with Stun Needle and Shark in Pursuit. Our hollow is Bayness, Curse of Devolution. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may devolve one of your opponent's benched evolved Pokemon by putting the highest stage evolution card on it into your opponent's hand. And then lastly, Spooky Sharp, which does 40 damage. Bayonet being... Fucking tough and as usual. Even in TCG. And our rare is Colossal V. Receiving Flame, which burns the Pokemon with 90 damage as well. And 180 for Boulder Crush. That has actually got like tar and oil there. That's actually pretty good. I like that. How many of these do I have left? I've got two more left after this. Let's keep go let's let's keep going with these good pulls now. We're in the final stretch, let's keep going. We've got fire energy, we've got cardony, 
We've got Galarian Meowth, we've got Wooper, we've got Charmander, we've got Taylo. We've got Steel, well, we've got Cotton Energy, which is our special Steel Energy. Galarian Stunfisk again, two Sir Chester Bass right in a row. And our there is Mudstail, with Mud Bomb and Heavy Slam. Ooh, 118 and then minus. This attack does 30 less damage for each star in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Ooh. It's not often you get attacks like that. It can be a bit of a double edged sword. We've got Psychic Energy, we've got the Dene, we've got Wooper, Yanma, Taylor, Rockruff, League Staff, Swallow. Galvantula, uh, Hollow, Shaman, Skyform specifically, Leech Seed, heal 20 damage from this Pokemon, and then Flower Bearing, Flip a coin, if heads, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all attached cards and puts them on the bottom of their deck. Ooh, harsh. And uh, there, Electros, Electrified Bite Mark with 60 damage. During your opponent's next turn, if they attach an energy card from their hand to the defending Pokemon, put six damage counters on that Pokemon. Ooh. Ooh, that's dangerous. I like that. An Electro Sprinkler does 120. The attack also does 30 damage to one of your bench Pokemon and 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Double edged sword again. But well, could be useful. And my last pack for the episode, which is nearly an hour long. Fire Energy, Tynamo again, Trubbish again, Wisma again, Rockfuss, Voltorb, Kosen Energy, Zeb Striker, Loudred, Voltorb, and our last rare for the episode is a Barrascuda. Okay, I was hoping for a bit better than that for my last round pack, but okay. <sighs> Alright, so that is going to be it for this episode. We got quite a lot of new stuff, and I'm actually really happy with it. Um, so yeah. You know what, I'll show off some of the VNGX cards that I have. Oh yeah, it doesn't allow you to do more than one at a time. Which is dumb. So as you can see, we've got our new Pikachu V, Colossal V, Drapion V, our new Air Force V, got an Eldegoss V at some point, we've got a Dreadnought V at some point as well. Galarian Cursola, Okremi, Okremi V Max, Graplox, Devaladon, Grapplocked again, Charizard VMAX, Dreadnought VMAX, God of War VMAX, Center Scorch VMAX, Freak of Alt V, Galarian Slowbo, Grimmsnarl V, Scizor, Villaboom VMAX, Ninetales V, Inteleon VMAX, Ice Q V, Bolton V, Toxicity V, Pink Curtain V, Dragport V, Sunderconda V, Phalanx V, Malamar V, Malamar VMAX, Delmise V, Taco V, Victini V, Tap Coco V. I forgot about that one, actually. Wobbuffet V, Vegirock V, Zation V, Snorlax V, Full Art Taco V, Full Art Marpico V, uh, Full Art Sableye V, and then a Double V. <sighs> And as for Pokemon GMAX is, let's go all the way to the beginning. Oh, I don't have as many. Okay. So we've got Blastoise and Piplop GX Tag Team. We've got Persian GX, Alola Persian GX, I should say. Naganadal and Guzzlord GX Tag Team. Vetchmam and Charizard Tag Team GX. Dedene GX. Morshko GX. Mars Shadow and Machamp GX. Muck and Alola Muck GX, Gengar and Mimikyu GX, Incineroar GX. Oh jeez, I didn't realize that one was a rainbow rare that I had. 
Parisian GX, Zara Aura GX, Articuno GX, Rayquaza GX, Greninja GX, Zygarde GX, Xerneas GX, and Dialga GX. So yeah, those are the uh, special cards that I have. Um, where is that Alistair? Um, well, I can just do common favorite voltage. This right here. This is definitely the star of the show. I was not expecting this at any point. It is very difficult to get rainbow rares. You gotta be extremely lucky. But for me to have got one, I'm actually really happy with it. And hopefully, um, hopefully I can continue to get even more luck. There is a new ladder which will be starting as I'm recording this tomorrow. Um, so yeah, hopefully I probably won't get Sabrina's suggestion because eh. But I think it's quite possible that the new ladder will contain more vivid voltage packs. If that's the case, I'll get more of them. I'll use up all the coins on the Vivid Voltage as well. So we can just do so that the next one will just be solely dedicated to Vivid Voltage. So yeah, I um, hope you all enjoyed uh, seeing some of the things that I got. Uh, it was kind of interesting. I'm gonna have to make some new pet, make some new decks out of some of the cards that I have because. I forgot I even had some of the ones that I do have, and I kind of need to update some of them anyway. So yeah, um, hope you all enjoyed. I shall see you all next time. Until then, I shall. Well, sorry. Tomorrow's gonna. Well, tomorrow, as of when I'm recording this, will be another Valhalla stream. And trying to get Valhalla done as quickly as I can, just to get it out of the way. Gives me more time to focus on doing things like this, just nice little videos. And uh, will hopefully give me more time to just uh, do things I really want to do. Don't get me wrong, I do love Valhalla. It's turning out to be a really fantastic game. But I think because I'm playing it so much, it's causing a bit of burnout. But I'm trying not to show that as much, which is why... You know, occasionally from day to day, I'll not stream. Just to give me that little bit of a time off. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully I'll get to make more videos like this. After Valhalla, I may do some more Pokemon content. Because Pokemon and Digimon was where my channel started. I do want to stick with that every now and then. Just go back to my roots. And I think... Things like this and maybe doing some Pokemon fan games would be a good idea. Uh, so yeah, we'll see what happens in the future though. Until then, goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you appreciate it. And uh, for those that are in the Discord call, hope you enjoyed seeing this as well. See you later guys.